Hi, I'm Lou Ann Hammond, DrivingTheNation.com. We are in El Monte, California with John Swanton, the Air Pollution Specialist for California Air Resources Board. Well, welcome, Lou Ann. So we just got through the dynamometer that all cars go through, mm -hmm. and it tested fine on that. The Volkswagen emissions was fine right. on that. Yeah. But you kept getting reports, and you kept trying to figure out what was wrong. But as researchers around the world were looking at what was being produced in the real world, uh, many researchers were wondering why those emissions were not as low as they were expected to be. So we used a variety of tools to try and get down to why that was happening. And one of the main tools was portable equipment uh, measuring systems, or PEMS. And this is a representative of a vehicle hooked up with a PEMS system. You have to have an onboard power source, a generator, and it's isolated from the emissions of the actual vehicle itself. And then within the vehicle, we have a large amount of equipment, uh, very small uh, versions of what you saw in the laboratory. The lab and the official lab tests are actually the measuring stick, the yardstick, as, as you'd put it, by um, which all vehicles must show that they comply with certification. Right. But this gives us an idea of what happens in the real world under real conditions where there's variability in vehicles driving. And we expect to still see a lower emissions profile than what was happening with many of the VWs. And so this tool really led to questions as to why that was happening. You know, it doesn't definitively point to where the problems were, but it gives us an idea of what's happening. You know, if a manufacturer is producing a car, and stating that it meets certain emission standards, it's really incumbent upon them to follow through and do that. And that's whether or not there's deliberate action happening or if it's something that parts just wear out. And now what we would be looking at in the future is how do we take increasingly sophisticated vehicles and make sure that everyone is still playing by the rules. Right. And that's the, that is the biggest challenge, is that there are always going to be ways to cheat but they're things that are a legitimate challenge to manufacturers and they're a goal for innovation. A lot to come down in yes. the next couple of years. Yes. John, thank you very much. Great.